Hello, this is Miss Kim. Um, today we're going to work on heparin calculations. So, it's very important to pay careful attention to what they're asking you when it comes to heparin. If they're asking you to solve or about the bolus, that's that immediate injection you would give right when immediately. Okay. Or the question could ask about the IV the the or the infusion that you're going to be giving him. So you have to pay very particular attention to what the question is asking you. The questions in this video does cover both, um, and it has all four steps, okay? So the first thing to talk about is um, for the IV bolus dose, um, it's calculated on both the bolus and the IV are both based on the patient's weight. Um, and so the first thing you're always going to have to do here is, is, is change their weight. Um, always round to the tenths place when you're converting his weight. So if it's talking about a bolus, the first thing you're going to do is multiply the units per kilogram times his kilogram. And that number you'll get in units, and that's how many units he will need for the bolus dose. And then the next step is to plug that in for the dosage problem. And as you know, I use D over H times Q. And so the first part for the bolus, will you'll use that, the units for him specifically, and then give him his milliliters. When you give him his milliliters, you need to make sure that's your um, injection. So you're going to round based on the answer. Uh, or for the purposes of our class, we rounding based on the syringe. Um, if you're talking, um, then after the bolus is given, that's like immediate. You give it to him. He's received it. So then you're going to set the infusion to be able to keep him getting steady amounts of heparin um, on a continuous basis, and that's when we talk about our infusions, okay? So the first step here is, again, to multiply by his weight, because it's going to be given in units per kilogram per hour. You're going to multiply his by his kilograms, and you're going to get how many units per hour your patient will need. Then you will use that information to solve the um, milliliter per hour, because what's going to happen is you know how many units per hour he needs, but you'll have to set the infusion pump in milliliters per hour to be able to ensure he's getting that, that steady amount of heparin. Okay? So again, the key is just paying attention to what it's asking. So um, I have not worked these problems yet. I changed some of the numbers, so hopefully the, the numbers come out to be, you know, a reasonable. Um, but for the first one, so your patient is 175 pounds, and so I'll change my... my um, my colors as we go through and so he says he has the following order so he has an initial bolus and that's 40 units per kilogram and you have available 5,000 units per milliliter then you have information for his infusion the initial infusion is 15 units per kilogram per hour and you have available 100 units per milliliter so the first question is calculate the bolus in units and that's where you're going to take how many units per kilogram times his kilogram. So of course the first step is to change his weight. So I've got 175 divided by 2.2 and I get 70. It'd be nice, it'd be easier if I was using Zoom. I've got this little pen that 70, that's not, <laughs> sorry, 79.54. So rounded he is 70. 9.5 kilograms. Okay. So, for the first part, we're going to multiply. He's going to get 40 units per kilogram times his kilograms, and he is 79.5 kilograms. Okay. And those kilograms cancel each other. So, 40 times 79.5. So he's going to get 3,180 units. Okay. So for the second step, change my color, you're going to use what's available right here, and you're going to do a dosage problem because it says calculate the bolus in milliliters. So this is a dosage problem. So you know he needs 
3,180 units. So you'll use that, 3,180 units. Um, and what you have on, available is 5,000 units per one milliliter. So 3180, I still have it on my calculator, divided by 5,000, and I get 0 0.636 milliliters. Now, since this is a rounding based on syringe, since it's less than one, you're going to round to the hundredths place. So that makes the six makes the three go to a four. So you've got 0 0.64 milliliters as your answer to how many milliliters you will give him for his bolus. Okay, so for the next set of problems, you're going to talk about his infusion. Okay, so they want the infusion rate in units per hour. And that's where you're going to go up here and you're going to find his initial infusion is in 15 units per kilogram per hour. So you're going to multiply by his weight. So 15 units per kilogram per hour times his kilograms. And his kilograms again was 79.5 kilograms. Okay, kilograms cancel. So 15 times 79.5. And I've got 1192.5 units per hour. Okay, We do not round this. This is not a weight. It's not a syringe. It's not BSA. It's not flow rate. So we leave it the way it is. Okay. So the next step is to then calculate the infusion rate in milliliters per hour. So now you're going to set the pump based on the information, the, the medicine he needs, 1192.5 units per hour and what you have available in 100 units per milliliter from the top. Okay, I always do my milliliter per hour with dimensional analysis. So for milliliters, he's, we've got one milliliter and it has a hundred units. Okay, And we're going to multiply by how many units he has and he needs right here. The 1192.5 units per one hour and they cancel so 1192.5 over 100 so divide by 100 because I still had it on my calculator and I've got 11.9 and this does not have rounding rules for milliliter an hour um, so for if it doesn't have rules you're going to round where you had to memorize, which was to a whole number. So the 9 makes the 1 go to a 2. So I have 12 milliliters per hour. Okay. Going forward, the problems are pretty much exactly the same. So one thing you might want to do is pause as we go through and work the problems yourself and see how you do. Okay. So for this one, a patient weighs 213 pounds, has an order... Initial bolus, 25 units per kilogram. What you have available for that bolus is 4,000 units per milliliter. And then the information for the infusion of 39 units per kilogram per hour. And what you have available is 150 units per milliliter for the infusion. So the first step is to change his weight. So 213 divided by 2.2. And I've got 96.81, So which rounds to... 96.8 kilograms. Okay. So first step, calculate the bolus in units. So you're going to say, okay, he's getting 25 units per kilogram. So 25 units per kilograms for everybody, but he's not he's got his own kilograms, so you're going to multiply by his kilograms. Cancel, cancel. So 25 times 96.8 equals and I've got 2420 units okay you will now use this number right here to calculate his bolus in milliliters okay and so for me I just do a dosage problem um, and you're going to use what's available for the bolus which is the 4,000 units per milliliter okay so he needs 4,240 units and we have what is that 4,000 units per milliliter. 
So 2420 is still on my calculator, divided by 4,000, and I've got 0 0.605 milliliters. So since this is your, you would use your syringe rounding rules, so you can round to the hundreds, and the 5 makes the 0 go to a 1. So 0 0.61 milliliters. Okay. So that's how many milliliters he's going to get for the bolus. Okay, so now the bolus is over. We're going to give him his infusion rate in units per hour. And he is ordered, or everybody is ordered, 30 units per kilogram per hour. So you're going to multiply by his kilograms per hour times his kilograms, which was 96.8 kilograms. Cancel, cancel. So 30 times 96.8 equals came out to a nice number 2904 <clears throat> are how many units per hour he needs okay so now we're going to calculate his infusion the milliliter an hour you have to program the pump based on how much medicine he needs and how much medicine is in the IV bag so milliliter an hour so the first thing we do is milliliters, and up top I have 150 milliliters per 1 ml. It has 150 milliliters times is 2,009, sorry, 2,904 units per hour is what he needs. And you cancel, whoops, sorry, I did notice I wrote right there that should say units, not, my apologies units there we go so now they can cancel that's how I knew I wrote it wrong they didn't cancel so 2904 over 150 divide by 150 and I get 19.36 or 19.3 so for flow rate you're gonna round to a whole number so 19 milliliters per hour and that's how you set the pump for the flow rate and I have one more. Same thing. Okay, so I just changed numbers up a little. So he weighs 241 pounds. He has an order for his initial infusion, 20 units per kilogram. And what you have available for the bolus is 4,000 units per milliliter. And for his infusion, he's getting 15 units per kilogram per hour. And what you have available for the infusion is 100 units per milliliter. So the first step here is always to divide by his weight. So 214 divided by 2.2, and I've got 109.54 oh, So I'm rounding to the tenths, so that gives me 109.54 uh, oh, kilograms. There we go. Okay, so first step, calculate the bolus in units. So you're going to multiply how many units per kilogram times his kilograms. So 20 units per kilogram times his kilograms. Cancel, cancel. So 20 times 109.5. And I've got 2190 units. You'll now use this information and what you have available to calculate his dose in milliliters for his injection. So you have he's getting 2190 units, and what you have available is 4,000 units per milliliter, Oop, per one milliliter. So 2190 divided by 4,000, and I've got. Goofy number, 0 0.5475, but we don't need to go that far. Since it's syringes, we're rounding to the hundredths. So 0 0.55 milliliters. Okay. So now that's the bolus. So you've given him his bolus. Now we have to set up his IV. And so for his IV, he's getting 15 units per kilogram per hour. So you're going to multiply that times his weight per hour, times his kilograms, 109.5 kilograms. Kilograms cancel, 15 
times 109.5, and I've got 1642.5 units per hour. Okay, we do not round this. Okay, you're now going to use what he needs per hour and what you have available in 100 units per milliliter to calculate the infusion rate for the IV pump. So milliliters an hour. So back up top, you have one milliliter, has that 100 units, and he needs 1642.5 units per one hour. Cancel, cancel. So 1642.5 over 100. Okay, so I got that on my calculator, so divide by 100. And I get 16.425, but we're going to round to a whole number because it doesn't say to go anyplace else. So you're going to round and you get 16 milliliters per hour. Okay. I hope that helps with heparin. Um, again, if they don't have all four questions, then you just want to pay very careful attention to what they're asking for. If it is the bolus or if it's the infusion. Um, the main important thing is to just always pay attention to the units you need so that you're solving for the correct thing. I hope this helps. Good luck, everybody.